warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back to the MTSP channel With me, Raja Nafani Jumaswin I'm Fila Lahara Kuti, we are from 8.2 As we all know, we millennials like to play with our gadgets a lot Which is can be handful for us, like harmful I mean We play games, social medias from gadgets We read news from gadgets We less have a hobby of reading now In front of us are two of our classmates who have a passion to read books. They are Keza and Revita. Hey Keza and Revita, how are you today? I'm doing fine. Life has been pretty good to me. That's a very good news to hear. So, we like to ask you both on your preference on reading books. Because we know that you like to read books, right? Revita, what book do you like to read the most and how did you get interesting in reading books in the first place? I like reading books that contain short stories. Actually, at first I was not very interested in reading, but my mother suggested to start read from the books and I was interested in. So I start reading from the books containing short stories and now I also start reading novels with the hope that in the future I will be more interested in starting to read all books, especially for those that contain knowledge. Then what about you, Keza? Do you also like short stories like Revita did? Actually, I like reading novels, but short stories are also interested. One of the novels that I really like is Harry Potter. Harry Potter is a story that tells about seven fantasy novels by British author J.K. Rowling. Yeah, yeah, this story tells about the adventures of a teenager named Harry Potter. Harry Potter was informed by Hagrid, the keeper of key and ground and Hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry. From that day, Harry was informed by Hagrid that he is a wizard. And from the day Harry lived his life as a wizard, but he did not escape from the Muggles family, not magic parents, who incidentally was her out, who was afraid of magic. Harry Potter spent seven years at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with his friend Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley. The core of the story tells about Harry's effort to defeat his mortal enemy, the black evil wizard named Lord Voldemort, whose ambition to become an immortal, conquering the wizarding world, overpowering the non-wizard, and annihilating anyone who was in his way, especially Harry Potter. Wow, that's so very interesting. Now I want to talk with Revita. Revita, you said that your favorite book is short story, right? Yes. Can you name one book that you like to read the most? Yes, I have one most favorite books. The title of the books is The Gift of Honesty. The book tells us about someone called Kiki. He has three best friends, namely Putra, Karima, and Karin. One day, Kiki and also his friend Revan want to do an experiment to find out the process of regenerating earthworms. But they were both confused about how to get the worms. Finally, an idea emerged from their minds namely borrowed a worm belonging to a neighbor named Miss Patricia. In short, they success in carrying out the experiment, but from the ten worms that were borrowed, only seven were still alive. The three others were cut off right where the body contained the fetal organs. Kiki felt guilty. Finally, after a few days later, he was accompanied by his three best friends to apologize and compensate Miss Patricia. But not with Revan. He didn't want to admit his mistake and replace Miss Patricia money 10,000 rupiah. From this honesty, Kiki can enjoy the cake made by Miss Patricia and stuff together on the land owned by Miss Patricia with three of his best friends. Well, that's a very good ending. Well, then, actually, reading any books is very good for us. Like, really good because we can take knowledge from inside of it, the content, the process of making it. Like, we learn from mistakes and failures. Do you get what I mean, Viola? Yes, I got it. As we know that the behind of the success of Harry Potter, it turns out of the sad life of the owl, J.K. Rowling. She had been hit by a sadness. There are being left by loved ones. And then failure after failure was being like, yes, I got it. As we know 
that the behind of the success of Harry Potter. It turns out that there is a sad life story of the owner, J.K. Rowling. She had been hit by a sadness. There are being left by loved ones, and then failure after failure was being like real attempt to stay away from her herself. Now, J.K. Rowling has successfully proved that failure is delayed success. Do you know that story, Giza? Yes, I know her story. To forget her sad life, J.K. Rowling tried to write a story named Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with hope that her novels could be published and to become a novel. J.K. Rowling sent and contact publishers with hope the novels could be published. However, up to 12 publishers that were contacted by Rowling, none of them are interested to make Harry Potter novels to become a novel. Not discouraged, J.K. Rowling and her sister agreed to send Harry Potter works to a well-known literary agent named Christopher Little. However, reading less than a page, Christopher dumped Harry Potter's work and placed in the archive. Luckily, the little employee who was tidying up the files saw our Harry Potter's work and read it. Otherwise, we will never know that Harry Potter's become phenomenal stories today. Hey, I have a question for you. What is your most favorite character in Harry Potter? Uh, my favorite characters in Harry Potter actually not actually one. Um, there are three. Uh, three. This is called about the Golden Trio, named Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley. Yeah, then why is that? Is there a reason to it? Like, are they unique or something? Uh, because their adventure to defeat the the Lord Voldemort and their friendship is so pretty and cute, actually, with Hermione as smart and Ron as silly. Silly. Then what is Harry Potter? Is it is this brave or? Harry. Harry is a brave character. Yeah. And um, uh, and Harry just a little known as. Hardworking, yeah. hardworking people, and the both of her, his best friend is actually help him to defeat the Lord Voldemort. No, oh, that's a very good story. So, we've talked a lot about Harry Potter in the past minutes, right? So, I want to ask Krevita a bit. Like, we know that your story has an education, right? Like. Yes. Knowledge is not. What is it? From the study, we can take a moral value that in life we must prioritize honesty. Even though honesty is painful, but by being honest, our life will become more blessed and we will also have many friends. Uh, well, that's odd to have it. May we meet you again in another interesting discussion. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough for our discussion today. I hope you enjoy what we are talking about. May we meet again in another interesting discussion. Thank you for your nice attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.